Hello everyone and welcome to another live protocol video. So in this video we'll be analyzing how the ever idealistic INFPs can fall into their darker side. Like everyone else INFPs are human and regardless of their immense capacity for empathy and to take care of other people, they too can fall short of their ideal self. I would say that INFPs are possibly one of the types that can more easily stray into the darker side of what human beings are able to experience but in their own pe peculiar way. The most important and definitely crucial aspect of their identity is tied with their sensitivity. INFPs are extremely sensitive and when something exists in the extreme, it's inevi inevitable to become problematic. So INFPs have FI or introverted feeling as their dominant function and this alone is the cause of their hypersensitivity. FI as I see it is nothing more than the trauma of neglect. High FI users like INFPs and ISFPs, they crave notice because in their subconscious they feel like their feelings were never validated like they were always put second or their feelings were never considered at all therefore they became hyper focused on them they became hyper hyper focused on feelings INFPs live in a world where feelings take the center stage where the individual is more important than the collective where being your true and authentic self matters more than any material or ambitious pursuit. In other words, FI is basically another word for deep feelings. With this in mind, we can start to identify how easy it is for INFPs to step into the darker version of themselves. In a world where the majority of people are focused on material wealth, keeping up with the Joneses, or where success is defined by the amount of money in your bank account and not the human experience, we can begin to understand why INFPs can easily rebel against the system. I don't mean to offend anyone when I say this, but feelings seem to elude the laws of reality. In other words, feelings are irrational that means that they don't follow any specific logic logic experiencing feelings as str strongly as INFPs do is dangerous there are two possible outcomes when hyper intensified feelings take a turn for the worse scenario one INFPs become so discontent with their reality and how society emphasizes materialism instead of humanism that they give up on life altogether are you familiar with the saying hell has no wrath like a woman scorned that's what I'm referring to but now you ask what do women have to do with INFPs and to that I say that FI and FE for that matter are feminine traits feelings in the cognitive uh, function uh, definition are feminine traits so because I believe that feelings evolve more intensely in women due to their need to care for children they are their primary caregiver and they develop a special bond with the baby as it's growing inside them and thinking has evolved more in males due to their need to hunt and provide protection uh, to the tribes from external threats, be it animals or, or rival tribes. Um, a very high feeling sensitive warrior wouldn't be very effective at dealing with enemies who seek to kill them in other potentially deadly situations, right? But colder, more logical warriors would have a greater advantage when, it, when, when not overrun by feelings of fear. Also, males are bigger and stronger to fight off other bigger and stronger males, not to mention the testosterone, right? Now, this doesn't mean that women don't think and men don't feel. We are all humans, we all do those things, but our preferences diverge. It's also true that there are men that are more feminine and women who are more masculine, and I believe that is solely to the distribution of our cognitive functions. For example, an ISTP woman who leads with introverted thinking, TI, is much less feminine than an ESFJ woman who leads with extroverted feeling. And an INFP or ENFP man is more feminine than an ESTP and an ENP. ENTJ man, right? So we in the e MBTI community know this to be true this in, in a general way. So the expression hell has no wrath like a woman scorned should really be replaced with hell has no wrath than a high feeling FI or FE person. And feelings are potentially dangerous, like I mentioned before, because they escape reason and extreme feelings are extremely dangerous. And who experiences the most intense feelings? High FI users, mainly INFPs. But what about ISFPs? They have FI as their dominant function as well. Why aren't they as dangerous as INFPs? And the answer lies in their second function. 
INFPs have extroverted intuition or NE as their secondary function, which in my theory of traumas is the intense trauma of fight or flight. Combining extreme sensitivity FI with the trauma like fight or flight equals individuals who when times get rough experience the highest highs or the extreme lows. And when hypersensitivity people find themselves in such a place, there's really no limits to what they might do. And when it comes to ISFPs, the other type who leads with introverted feeling, uh, well, ISFPs have SE or extroverted sensing as their secondary function. And in my theory of traumas, SE comes from the trauma of incarceration, being, being taken away, having their freedom taken away. So for ISFPs, it's much easier to repel or overcome their sadness or overcome their dark side. All they need to do really is to travel, go outside, spend some time in nature experiencing freedom, and they bounce back much easier and much quicker. So I hope this video brought some light into some uh, INFP peace who might not know why they fall so easily into their darkness just know that we are all victim of victims of our traumas the traumas in our heads and these traumas they basically form our ego they, they form our operated operating system is necessary it's what allow us to function in the real world but they can misfire when in the grip of our dark side so in order for us not to fall into our dark side we should remember that darkness is not the only state that exists if you fall into your darkness know that light is also a reality and the way we find that light is by choosing a righteous path so we all have the capacity for good and evil it's it's our choices that dictate what our future will look like it's simple your choices dictate your future so you all you have to do is make sure you make good choices like choosing truth over lies helping instead of tearing down understanding instead of judging it's really as simple as that and like I always say understanding breeds acceptance thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video if you like the video Please consider leaving a like and subscribing, that will allow us to keep making more videos like this. For more related content please click on one of the suggested videos. Thank you for watching.